What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and I'm probably not going to advance past Silver League this week, but that's okay, I'll have other weeks to do it. I just didn't have enough time uh, this week to get up into the top 3. It is now top 3, not just top 5 as like before, and uh, it's ultra competitive. I would have to get all the way into, into like a 700 range probably to even place in the top three, maybe 800 depending uh, in the next nine hours, how the number two, three, and four uh, compete with each other. Um, I'm number 11 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and tr just play a little bit and hope that I can secure my 11th place spot and not and not lose out uh, because I don't wanna be in the bottom three here. Um, so, you know, what's important to me is that I get to play each week, show you guys strategies, and, uh, you know, keep my streak, get cool rewards. In fact, I got enough cool rewards this week that I have Explodonut to level 10. Maxed out Explodonut. It's really cool. Uh, it makes the strategy I showcased last video a little bit uh, better. Uh, first, though, we're going to do the Piñata Party. This is going to be our fourth in a row. And uh, we're going to see what type of rewards we can get. And then we'll do a little bit of the same old strategy that we used last episode in which I broke 5 million that I got. I, I got the strategy from Reddit. And um, from, I think, Zombie69R or something like that. But um, uh, I'm going to showcase it with a level 10 Exploder Nuts. But first, like I said, we're going to go ahead and uh, try... Hold on one second, though. If this is just Walnuts... Yeah, this might just be walnuts and, uh, hey, dork, don't do that. Stop it, stop it now. Alright, hold on, these guys are gonna know the true meaning of pain. Will they, though? Maybe. Here we go, they're, they're walking through. We gotta really watch out for this stuff, huh? Oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah, you know, not ideal. How some of these guys are, are moving past it, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna be able to set out spike weeds, I'm sure. Like right there. Let's just fast forward and right there. This looks pretty darn good to me. I don't know. Uh, where does this go? Right there. Sure. More spike weeds everywhere. Make them feel the pain, baby. All right. Let's uh, just keep on keeping on, huh? I think this is gonna be good. In case they break past them, I'm just gonna put a couple spike weeds out there. This is fine. I wanna get on to showing the Exploder Nut level 10 maxed out. Sure, looks good, looks good. Hey, let's just go ahead and, whoops, wrong thing. There you go, there you go. Whittle them down a little bit. And there we go, we got two plant foods from that. Most importantly though, we get a couple uh, of rewards here. We got uh, Spore Shroom times five, Cabbage Pult times three. Um, I am in kind of in a cool sweet spot with this week's uh, battles mode. Yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, one more. <laughs> I forgot about the coins. Yeah, we get coins too. I'm in a sweet spot pretty much with this week's uh, ba -ba -bum, ba -da -dum. Yeah, we, we're, I'm in a sweet spot with this week's battle mode because I've been getting coins, then upgrading my plants with those same coins, and uh, it's pretty cool. And but the most important thing that I want to do is just you know make sure I don't lose too much. Uh, but I'm going to show you the exploder nut strategy uh, a few more times. Well, it's not the exploder nut; it's not really an exploder nut strategy, but it does involve exploder nuts, so I, it, it does involve them pretty well, in fact. So let's just go ahead and play. You know, I hope both number 12 and 13 don't take me over. Let's free play. Let's have some fun with this strategy. Uh, if, just in case, well, no, by the time this video is up, you probably won't have time. Probably not to use it, but I showcased this strategy last episode, so it should be good enough. So basically the strategy that uh, I've been using and that I've kind of perfected uh, is not my own strategy, but I've been uh, you know, utilizing my own methods. Uh, I put two columns of exploder nuts. Uh, the the method that I saw only had one. I feel like it's too hard. I can't I can't manage it. So I put it like this: three um, three uh, chard guards right there, and of course dust slobber everywhere. If my dust slobber was a little bit stronger, the strategy would of course be even better. But it's not. Um, so this is what happens: you do the blower over and over. You know, you get rid of these guys pretty easily. Put a dust slobber there. 
And uh, what I've found is that putting an explodo nut uh, in the middle uh, really helps because the, the, the radius of the explosion really helps keep everything in check. And then uh, with it being level 10, it does charge up a lot better, a lot faster, a lot stronger. And so I uh, would just keep throwing out these uh, these blowovers and we keep putting these in the middle. And that way, if any of the, the Jester zombies get on the uh, second or fourth rows, uh, they will be affected by the explosive radius of the Explodo Nut. So that's what we're kind of dealing with right now. And uh, I think it works like a charm. Right now, I am not beating my opponent. I'm going to go ahead and put some char guards uh, in some of these spots around here. Here we go. Explodo nut in the middle. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead. I think that we're in a good spot. I'm, I'm still putting out char guards everywhere just to kind of make sure that this works. Uh, so, sure. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop one of these out. I'm going to put an exploder nut on the top row. There's a lot of things there. I think it already exploded. So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, here, excuse me. It's not, okay, there we go. So, see, he tore through there, so I'm going to go ahead and unleash this. Put that in its place. Put that, keep it protected. Replenish as much as we can. And like I said, if the exploder nut were secure in the middle there, then he maybe would have broke through. I'm not so sure what happened though. I wasn't. I'm not too positive. So want to keep these charred guards all along. Uh, I have not quite broken the score of my opponent yet, and I definitely am trying to do that. Just keep putting out the things that work. The exploder nut, the charred guard. This is a level 10 exploder nut, so it's a little tougher. Uh, we need one on the bottom row for, you know, in case the weasels start getting crazy. Uh, still, this is going to be a very close round. I'm not so sure that we're going to pull through the victory. It really depends on what my opponent ends up doing. And this is kind of what I've been dealing with all week is just some very close rounds. People breaking millions and millions and millions. I'm lucky to break five million uh, each time. Sometimes I don't, but I try to. Uh, we got 30 seconds left. I'm at 3.8. He's at 3.8. I'm at 4. He's going to be at 4 soon. You just know how this goes, right? All right, exploder nut in the middle. Again, I think it gives me the best chance to take out enemies, especially towards the end. He already has uh, one up me. He's at 4.6. I like to, uh, you know, do my best to break five. Uh, it's not going to happen though. It's such a close round, and look what happens. So this is the deal. A lot of people who are now playing this game, who continue to play this game have all level 10 and 15 plants. I'm lucky in the sense that I now have a couple different level 10 plants, uh, but I don't think the pea shooter maxes out. At, no, it doesn't. This primal pea shooter, I think, maxes out at 15. You know, I don't know how a lot of people got these, um, but what I'm saying is that uh, I did my best. I don't have all level 10 at the moment, but I came ridiculously close to Trong One's score. And so I didn't win that one. I'm gonna retain my streak though because I like the rewards and the payout. I'm hoping that next week is a little more forgiving to people who don't have all level 10 plants. And uh, hopefully I don't lose my Silver League ranking. I can be in Silver League, League next week. Hopefully tomorrow basically is when it is. But I'm gonna play again and see. We should see some scores that excel past five million. I My top score right now is past six million. I don't know if I'll be lucky enough to get it today. It seems kind of random when it happens. It's hard to tell for sure. Uh, but this strategy is what's done it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue once more with this strategy with the level 10 max level Explodo Nuts. Oh, so good. And uh, this setup, like I said, is genius, especially for not having all level 10 plants. I do want to have all maxed out plants eventually. I don't know when it's gonna happen. Uh, because there are several strategies. I've seen the highest score I've seen so far that someone's tweeted me was 9 million. It involved laser beans, it involved cold snapdragons, and I don't exactly know the exact specific strategy, but it looked very viable as long as you were to have uh, such powerful plants. Unfortunately, I'm kind of in the in the mode of uh, showcasing these without having uh, such amazing plants. So anyway, we're going to wait to see what explodes. That one down there, so I replaced it. Uh, this one, so I'll put it there. Has anything else exploded? Right there. Like I said, I'm trying here. 
I went ahead and put one up there. I don't know what the dealio is, yo. In the middle. I'm hoping to really keep my eyes on the ball here. There we go. Okay, the they, they ate one. Hold on, don't worry. I'm gonna do my best to uh, keep this here. Gonna replenish it, of course. Man, they've taken a lot from me. Oh, jeez. All right, right there. Like I said, this is getting pretty intense. Uh, right now, I'm beating my opponent. And that's kind of what it's all about for the moment. All right, and be sure, I, I try to be sure to use those on the chart guards to easily get them replaced. Again, we're in the, the territory of constantly replacing these Explodo Nuts. And it seems pretty worthwhile to, to try this, so. I think I just replaced the same one in the middle. I don't necessarily like doing that. I'm at 3.5 right now. All right, in the middle. This should take out a bunch. It's getting to the point where they're so strong that they do sometimes immediately take out. Look, we've already lost another another one of the charred guard. It's, it's ridiculous how easily these things get destroyed. They don't even flip out the zombies as much anymore. But what I'm trying to do is... So see, hold on. Let me go and take out both of these. I hope that this works. This is a good strategy. There we go. Oh, jeez. So I broke five million, and that's uh, good and comforting. I don't know if I can break six this time around, but I would love to try. I've seen it happen, of course. It's all kind of... 5.5 is a pretty... Typical of the higher end of scoring. I'm going to get some gauntlets here. This person, again, like, I, I can still... I mean, he didn't have a level 10... Uh, what are these nuts called? See, so what confuses me is how does this person actually have level like level 10, but he doesn't have some of the other premium plan? I don't know. Let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, nice. I want to get to 544. I'm going to do that and get some coins and level up some of my plants that have been leveled up. We're gonna do this a little bit, and then I wanna do a couple of, I, I wanna do at least one thing. I wanna check out that pirate sea stage that I always check out for farming capabilities. And I wanna see if I can defend against all, all of the imps with some of these primal walnuts, because their health is high. They should stave off the imps for a little bit of time and hopefully keep them at bay, and then boom, do the big explosion. We'll see how that goes. Again, I feel like two columns, I've seen this done without two columns, just one. I feel like two columns is essential for me, uh, simply due to the fact that they, they, they keep slipping past. So this is a good start in my view. Uh, you know, I like just dropping these guys out like so. And then let's rock. This one spot is for the um, uh, the blowover, of course. There we go. All right, in the middle. There we go, right there. Now, I don't necessarily know how, uh, darn it, I think I just replaced the top, that's okay. I don't know how viable the, uh, the chart guards are, but. Here we go. And we can easily replace that one in the middle. Of course, it does get taken out a lot. Right there. And we kind of push them back a little bit with these.
getting my uh, exploder nuts back in place. Right now, pretty good. Unfortunately, the uh, my opponent is once again beating me, but we're gonna try to hold off on that. By dropping down as much stuff as I humanly can. Keeping my char current charge guards refreshed, replaced, replenished. But as you can see, like this is even a little bit stressful for me. I I'm down to 2.2. I don't know how to get back up there. I'm gonna try to get back up there. But this is uh, definitely uh, just kind of a, a point of contention for me. Like, how do I... Here we go, hold on. 2.6 versus 3.6. I gotta wonder what his strategy is. Because I'm doing everything I personally can to make it, but... Yeah, I gotta get like a million very, very soon. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. And I may not be able to, and that's part of the problem with this week, is that I haven't quite... Although I've, you know, found a method that's got me over 6 million points, this same, the same method is not, like, super great as is, so... I'm only at 3.7 right now. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and unleash this. All right, four, he's at five though. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna break uh, five. I mean, if I had a few more seconds, maybe. But unfortunately, no, it's gonna be 4.4 to 5.4. Again, with them, he has the uh, Stalia, which is actually a really good strategy. I just don't have my Stalia leveled up enough to do the uh, bounce back that like kind of like a spring bean would do. And so, uh, once again, we're, we're down to maintaining our streak. I really want at least the coins uh, because I wanna go into the, um, the particular mode. So as you can tell, I'm not, it'll take me forever to get into like 700 or 800. I, there's no real hope for me in advancing past the Silver League this week. And that's okay, because I don't think we miss out on too much. Uh, the gym rewards are obviously better if you make it up another league, but I am doing okay in that realm, I believe. Uh, so I'm gonna try this uh, maybe one more time. And we're gonna see where this puts us, because um, I could do the uh, strategy. What was it? It was this, obviously. I could try extra pea shooters, you know. I could see how well these actually hold up. So with extra pea shooters, you get two columns like that. You still have to deal with uh, all of these dust lobbers over here, but you never really have to replenish them unless the gesture gets all the way through. So let's try this original strategy. Um, not my original, but someone else's original strategy. And uh, let's just see what we can get done here. And uh, now more than ever, I'm gonna try to focus on, uh, you know, a middle lane type of assault, basically, on these guys. Now we have double uh, pea shooters shooting backwards at them. I just replenished that, unfortunately. All right, come on now. Try my best to replace everything as it as it happens. Uh, again, the, the opponent has definitely caught up with us a little bit, and that's not something I ever like to see, but. It's definitely, uh, you know, a real measured possibility of, of even probability at this point where we're down to the end of the week and uh, it's just not really hanging out how you want it to. That guy broke through. And as long as you're able to uh, you know, kind of protect against everything, you should be doing pretty fine. All right, here we go. Let's 
2.2 versus 1.9. I mean, I'm kind of lucky right now. I'm just going to be honest. I'm pretty lucky right now with this. Let me put this in the middle. The middle one's still functional. Let's put it up at the top. You know, we're pretty on top of this. And you really, if you want to play this strategy with only one uh, column of walnuts, you have really got to be on top of this situation because this can get out of hand super duper quick. There we go. Things are getting crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier and all the time they're getting crazier, but my score is better right now, and I hope to be the king. I'm the king uh, right now. So this isn't even going to put me at four, but I did beat my opponent's score. Uh, the benefit for this one is that I, you know, the opponent didn't have great plants either. You know, no, no real maxed out plants. I do have a couple maxed out plants. For whatever reason, this week is not working as well. Uh, for this today is not working as well as it has been this week. Like I said, I broke six million uh, points before. I really got to watch out for these two. 187, 188, and even Tom here at 173, I can see them rocketing up tomorrow and sniping me, basically, and putting me down at the bottom and me dropping League. I don't know that I would mind too much dropping League. I prefer not to. I'm still going to focus every week on the strategies. Uh, do, do I have anything to promote here? I do. I can pump up this Fume Shroom. All right, so we got a good gander at what the uh, Exploder Nut can actually do. Uh, what is hot potato? Mediocre, typical light. I think level 8, the hot potato has something else entirely. I think we're pretty good. So, uh, let's not do the same, uh, the same mode anymore. But we're going to do uh, something that I wanted to just try. And again, I don't know that this is the best thing to do, but I'm curious about it because I don't know. I, I probably did. I don't remember if I've done this with the Exploder Nuts. I don't think I would have. It doesn't seem something that's like me. But in the Pirate Seas, there's a stage that I like to farm uh, because I like to set down my plants and hopefully not do anything. Um, there are a couple stages that actually, uh, there are a couple layouts that actually work that way. And it's very fun when it does. But I don't know if Exploder Nut will be one of them. And I want to see, like, will it keep the imps at bay? Uh, I did not, I thought it would show me a pop up of what the level was about. But I clicked it. My fault. I almost said I didn't click it, but I was going to take, uh, no, this is not it. I was going to take responsibility, but no, never again will I ever, ever, ever accept responsibility. Let's go ahead and pause, exit to map. Fine. Then, uh, that was not the right stage. I think it was 30, is it 36? That's not the right stage that they tell you not to go into? Nah, I'm just kidding. They, they, no, 30, what, 36? No, no, what the heck? So 32 is what I mean to say. Let's see if it's 32. <laughs> I get lost sometimes. It might be even earlier, I don't know. Nope, I think it's earlier. Maybe it's like in the 20? I don't know. I feel a bit dumb because I, I feel like I should know these. But I just don't. Let's go ahead and uh, save and exit. We're going to move on. I do apologize. Um, 31, 28, 29, 27. Is it instead 24? Maybe 22. Let's try 24. I'm sorry that I'm all over the place with this right now, but I mean, I gotta know. No! Oh my gosh, I feel like a dummy. Is it 22? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at the Pirate... Here's I, the, the Pirate Seas Wiki. Uh, pirate Seas PVZ Wiki. This will tell us exactly. This is not the right stage. I'm sorry. Exit to the map. Whew, it should be so obvious which ones is to do. Um... You get your choice on 26. Uh, twenty-six. No, it's not twenty-six. Let's see. Twenty-two. Sorry about that, guys. To think all the times I've done it and I didn't remember this time. All right, here we go. So what I want to see is if Exploder Nuts will work here. 
I don't know if they will, but I'm always genuinely curious. So let's go ahead and... I don't know if we should, we should imitate it or what. Let's try it. Let's try it imitated. Yeah, I just don't have time this week to go all the way to 700 points. You know, I gotta sleep sometime, sometime tonight. And then we're just gonna bring out everything else that seems like maybe it could work. What happened? Oh, there's one more. Okay, great. Let's see if I can just put out a whole bunch of the, these exploder nuts. And I learned from a pre couple weeks ago to just to tap. Come on. So this is uh, almost maxed out. I'm, I'm gonna wait and see what happens. I don't know. Got shot in the water. He too got shot in the water, but these guys are all gonna explode and we're gonna have to deal with that. In fact, I'd almost rather um, Okay, so he's, they're eating one of them. So come on, they're gonna eat some of these. And then, you know, I wonder, you know, if I'm allowed. I should be allowed to. I should be allowed to just put more down if I want. Why not? Only two blew up. And got some of the M's. Now again, with this being a farming stage, this probably does not take, this probably takes longer than the bowling bombs. Bowling bombs are the best for me, I think. All right. Okay. Everyone else lost their house to rocks. They better do a, good, a rocking good job. All right, another subset of imps gone. I'm curious if they can somehow get through this. And part of me wants to replenish the uh, exploder nuts up ahead, but I want to see if they can get through everything, and maybe they can. It almost seems like they sure can, right? Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward because this is getting. Yeah, as soon as that top row is gone, so so thankfully the top row wasn't. Even... Whoa! Now this is a bunch of them. Now this is sure to get some of them riled up. There we go. So that top row is indeed going to uh, probably suffer for that. Come on. Oh jeez, I just know. Yep, it clears that one out. Now the middle is going to have to explode. I just know. Maybe if I was a little more active with sunflowers or plant food or whatever, and I was able to put down the the uh, flower pot. I mean, not the flower pot. Uh, the, what am I saying? Multiple of the exploder nuts. Uh, why did I say flower pot? I was thinking about the Zen Garden. Uh, but, but yeah, I could put in the, you know, the Zen Garden version of this, which wouldn't be so amazing. But uh, I'm just mean, just put down. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's obvious we're gonna lose. So uh, what I want to do is that since I know we're gonna lose, I want to go ahead and start putting down some, uh, some, some. Uh, do I want to do it, or do I want to wait? Let's wait. I want to see. I, I do want to put down more exploder nuts, but we're so close. I don't think that we're going to... Yeah, so the bottom row and the top row are both clear. Now... Okay, yeah, so they're going to uh, trigger our lawn mowers. That will not be my favorite thing, but it's all part of the plan, right? We have a master plan to... to... No, we don't? Okay. Never mind. Never mind. So these guys are going to walk through. Um, we know what's going to happen. I guess now I, I can start putting these down. I don't know that I'll need them, but I'm going to do it. Here we go. And now a full column. So, I mean, it's not as passive as I would want it to be. But uh, I think we're doing pretty good. You, you know, we're going to finish better than we started somehow. Okay. So one more here, one there. Here we go. Come on now, more, put them out. Yeah, so if you're able to, you know, if you don't wanna just wait for like the next turn or whatever and you wanna just beat them in one turn, you know, depending on who you're against, maybe you can win it, I don't know. 
All right. Come on, there's only four left. How, how far is this gonna go? Oh, no, there's so many more than four suddenly. All right, so let me go and protect down there. All right, hold on. Yeah, this is looking good, and this is looking good. Because of the fact that we have two imps coming on those rows, they're gonna take care of each other, whoever eats it first. Fantastic. And we got a whole bunch of bees over here. They're not bees, they're imps. Come on, hurry up and eat these. Let's fast forward. Oh my goodness. There we go. So, you know, you could do it if you if you went and spent, spent the gems that you earned by playing as well. But overall, I don't know that that was worth it. There's so many easier ways, including, of course, our uh, uh, our uh, bowling ball. But hey, we got one of these. Uh, we, got, we got a quest complete. We got one of these. Everything should be looking pretty good. Come on now. I know we got a quest. Come on. Okay. Let's do what we gotta do. Open this up, sure. We just get a handful. Compared to all that I've been getting on the uh, on, on the mode. The battles mode, what's in the travel log? Oh yeah, we did this, we did this. All right, nice. Well guys, uh, I wanna say thanks for watching. Um, you know, I, I tried to showcase the best I could with level 10 Exploder Nuts. It's pretty late here. I'm getting kind of tired, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a nap, then wake up tomorrow, show you guys some more awesome videos I took. How does that sound? That sounds great to me. We can exit here. I did not mean to actually go forward in the stage. I don't know why it makes me do that. It should have just taken me to the map, maybe. Uh, so exit to map. I don't know what the difference between restart and resume are. I guess resume continues you off of where you left off, and restarts just like a full reset. But um, I did pretty good. Right? Today? Surely I did. Goodbye, and thanks for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.